Okay, so today is big day for us. We are getting started with a new journal. This is a Dilutions Creative Journal. It is like 11 by 9, so it's a really big, 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 really big deal. Um, I am going to cut this off because we're going to do the cover and everything. Uh, if you're looking for collage fodder, let's see. Let's not throw stuff away. Let's cut this out. I kind of love Diane Reevely's doodle on this end. So see that? That's going to make a nice little piece of border. And then we have, let's go up and get this top of the doodle. And then we have a nice piece of collage. Okay. And another little piece of collage. All right. So, but what we're doing today, just, oh, look, a surprise. How fun. We'll have to put that in the journal, too. That'll be a fun, fun secret pocket. Maybe we'll do something fun with that. But today we're doing backgrounds. So the other day we made a whole bunch of, the thing I like about this journal is it opens completely flat on any page because of how they bind it. They do the signatures every, I believe it's four pages. So this is not a signature. This is part of a signature. Yeah, there's a signature. So one, two, three, four. So three pages and then a signature, which is really a high quality way to make a journal so that we don't have to worry so much about it not being able to open flat. I am just kind of making the pages a little bit more pliable because they're paper. So anytime you're working with paper, you can make it more pliable by working with it. So now my journal kind of, this part isn't flopping open. I need a flop open journal. That's the kind of artist I am. I like my journal to be broken. All right, okay. And this will get more broken as we go on, but so today what we're going to do is we are going to put down a whole bunch of these ones that we made the other day, and then I'll put a link to this. It's called Three Kinds of Paper to Make Background Papers, and then I have all of these colored background papers that I'm going to use today, so we have a whole thing. And then I have fun white background papers, but I can't do those until I paint some of my pages. But today we're just going to go through and we're going to put down a crap ton of background papers. And what we're going to use for this is this Distress Brush and then Tim Holtz Collage Medium. I think I have one open I do have one open. So this is matte medium. You could use glue. It wouldn't be as stuck flat to the paper. You could also use Mod Podge. Oh, and we also have something really cool we could use. We're gonna use this too. Maybe we'll use the little brush with the, these are called matte tints. So these are um, tints, but they're also matte medium. So they, they act as a glue too. I like that. Regular paint often will act as a glue, but not it's not functionally made for that. So that's why all your pages stick together. So today we're gonna use two Tim Holtz Distress Brushes. One for the, this will be for the colors and this will be for the just collage medium. And then papers. Do I love that? Oh, I love this. Okay, so let's start sorting into kind of sections. Red, hmm. I don't like that. I don't want it in my journal. Love this, love this, love this. I feel like these are very light colored backgrounds. <laughs> you might not like this, but I like a ton of grunge. So I think what these are are India ink. 
if I'm being completely honest. So let's do grunge, late backgrounds, and India ink for these guys. And those have texture paste on them too. Those are amazing. And I'm going to mix all these backgrounds together because I want this to be like a really interesting journal. Yeah, these are all. This is um, deli paper, which is, let's put that with this. Let's put this with this. These guys are just little tiny pieces. This can go with this. There's not rules. I'm just trying to get them organized in my head because I'm gonna use one set of them and go through and put them in lots of places and then use another set. This is from a um, Seth After stencil, which I like the stencil itself. I just don't like the colors I did this in. So I am going to trash that because I don't want it in my journal. I kind of love those colors are kind of funky love these colors then we have the ones we did the other day which we'll put uh i don't know where they go i've kind of lost track of my sorting the the thing i'm trying to do is to avoid having a giant pile of backgrounds to work with i'm going to start with and we have another red so where's that first red that's Maybe our first page, a red page. Keep on. There we go. All right. All right. So I'm going to pull that to the side. And then if you know me, you know I love me some teal. I got a lot of teal and purple. And I might, oh, there's another red. Oh, with a fun stencil. Oh, mask. Excuse me. Excuse me, that's a mask, not a stencil. So what's the difference between a mask and a stencil? A stencil has mostly open space. A mask is where you cover part of the space and you leave the background open. So I can show you. Mask, so we only got around it. Mask, so we only got around it, right? And then there's no stencil in that. I just used a mask. Stuck together. Imagine that because we aren't patient and put our. Now, this is a whole page. I might put that down as a whole page. These other ones we're going to tear up some. Okay, here we go. So, we're going to put those guys together. We're going to put these guys together. And we're going to start with these guys. And just go around the pages that I want to put stuff on. Okay, so for this one, I really like this. Do we want it to be a whole background? Uh, for this, I'm going to get... Ugh, I only have yucky water. Um, my paint water spot is gross. So we're going to use a little thing. And if you're using just tissue paper, you can do this. Oh, is that this that wet tissue paper? Yeah, this is that wet tissue paper. You can still do it. Um, it's just not as easy. And I don't want a straight line. I want kind of a, I think for this, I'm going to have to do it fast, do it there, and then do it fast. Because this is that upscale tissue paper it's called carnival wet tissue paper and uh it appears to be really good at this okay last side and i'm not going to do all of these with you i will go through at the end of the day when i'm done um more so i want to show you kind of how I'm thinking about this. And then at the end of the day, I will go back through and um, show you all the pages because you don't want to spend six hours with me here making backgrounds. But I want to get my, my art journal ready for, see now this is too wide. So 
So I'm gonna come over here and I almost feel like I want less of this side that is so dark and has a line. You might take off that side. I guess it's just depending on what you're looking for in your... So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on this side and put this over here as the other side and that'll pull those two sides together. So this is what we're gonna do. I hope this opens. I may have to, I may have to put a pin in this to make it work because it has been a minute since I've been in my craft room. Okay, there we go. That appears to be pretty open. Let's try it. Let's try, oh, it works. All right, so for this, I am going to put this around and then I'm going to get my big collage brush and we're gonna go over here and get this whole page covered with collage medium, matte medium. Let's not put it on the papers, me. And then we're gonna stick this down real good. Okay, it's not sticking up here, so we'll just go in with a little bit more. And you can use, like I said, you can use whatever you want. You could use Mod Podge for this. That would work. And when I first got started, I feel like collage medium feels like it's not sticking when you start. It's not like glue, where you put glue down and you feel like, oh, that's stuck. Like, I feel rock solid, it's stuck. Collage Medium takes, whether it's Mod Podge or Tim Holtz, takes a minute to gather itself and stick itself down on a page. I feel like this whole edge is not stuck down right there. So I'm just going to go in with a little squirt and a little squirt. So for me today, I'd rather not have this whole thing covered in glue because I want to be able to do a page, turn a page, do a page, turn a page. And if I had the whole thing covered with glue, I wouldn't be able to do that. Um, collage medium dries super fast. That's um, one of the principles of it that Tim Holtz wanted in his project when he made this collage medium. He likes glue to dry fast. Some of them will dry slower. Let's see if we can get any of this stuck more down. I feel like stuck to me. And oftentimes what I'll do is instead of coming and gluing stuff back on, I will um, just tear it off when I get to working on that page. So it's not always, I don't always do the same thing, but today I feel like I'm going through and sticking some papers down, some background papers down to get a start on my art journal. Okay. So let's go a few pages back and do a red, ooh, and a, a spread. Okay, let's see how much we have. I love this. Okay, so, and then we have this little piece of random red. So I'm gonna tear that in half. I am going to get all the whites, well, not all the white, some of the white off the edge of this because I don't want a ton of just random white paper. I don't love this line, whatever that is. So I'm gonna tear that off. There we go. Okay. So this, let's see, we've got this little piece. And you don't 
Okay, hold on. Give me one sec. Let's go ahead and clean this up. I'm not going to hang out and make you watch me tear lots of paper during this process because you're going to take papers off the way that you want. And I don't want to influence you into how much edge sleeve because you might like a little edge. I just don't happen to like an edge. I don't like um, straight lines. And you may not be able to hear it, but we just had a friend come in, Hoover, our robo vacuum, has joined the party. Okay, so I'm gonna put these on these two sides, and then I wanted to tell you about this, don't make orphans. So if I put this here, hold on, I gotta get this out of here. Hi, honey, thank you for trying. Okay, I kicked him out. Back to orphans, if I, put this here and this here and this here, then I have four distinct different things on this page. But if I tear this and tear this and tear, I kind of like how you can see the whole thing on this. So I'm going to leave that that way. So I can put that down. That's easy peasy. And this is an expensive bottle of glue. This is a lot more expensive way to do it than to just use Mod Podge. You can buy a ton of Mod Podge for very little money. But this is my journal. I mean, I want it to be wonderful and beautiful and I'm worth it. So I'm going to use the expensive collage glue also because if you don't use your art supplies they just go bad they don't they don't last forever if you never use them so if you're saving something forever to use later stop it okay here we go all right that did not that did not work okay let's get this along this edge pull it out so we can glue that whole thing down. There we go. Mucha better. Okay. So this is over here. And this is acrylic paint on either tissue paper, rice paper, doctor paper, or something else. Oh, the wet tissue paper. So now what I'm going to do is I do think I'm going to put this guy up here so that we have kind of top and bottom. And you can be way more precise with this if you like things to be precise, right? If you like to have spend a lot of time thinking about where to place your papers, that's awesome. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Let's see. I kind of want to get some of this over here because this feels super heavy. But, oh, look, look. Oh, perfect. Thank you, me. That's great. That'll go up there. That one side of the page was feeling very, um, the, the, the solid red color was feeling heavy, and this side of the page was feeling very ethereal. Speaking of ethereal, I am going to also be using, I just found out about inches. Do you know about inches? Maybe everybody knew about inches but me. But I'm going to put this in the back. I just found out about inches from a reader who said she wanted one inch by one inch square things. And I'm like, sure. And then I went on Pinterest and I started researching inches, 
which aren't super interesting to me. They are a one inch by one inch square. I don't do, like I make bigger journals, right? Like, so a one inch by one inch square would be a lot of work on this journal. But they also make, <laughs> I love the names of these things. They also make twin cheese, <laughs> which are two inch squares. So I made her bee, butterfly, and fairy twin cheese and inches. And so I am going to use some of those. Gosh darn it, stop gluing stuff to stuff me. Okay, let's get this on here. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. And you can turn your nail over and kind of get stuff stuck down flatter if you want. Kind of straighten it out. That looks good for me. Excellent. So now I have three spots, none of which are like, boring. Okay, next. I'm going to do one more page with you, and then I'm going to start just doing my work, and then I shall come back. But I want to do something fun and way more colorful with you. Oh, I love that. Okay, we're going to use this. Look at this border corner. This is real um, tissue paper, because this tears amazing. So I'm going to use that and make kind of an inside border right here with that. So let's go ahead and that's easy. And I may be going over this a little bit or under it. Well, I guess I can't go under it. I'll be going over it maybe, but I like the, the hard line for an inside page border, not for the edge of a page, but for the inside of a page, just in how I think about how I like to do my backgrounds. Um, it would work for me. I'm going to be covered in glue by the end of the day. It's fine. Fine. Nice people get covered in glue. There we go. Choo, 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 choo. Fine. Okay. Now, let's get another piece of, oh, this is, do we want to, that is a very, this is a um, rice paper background, and this is a very, very heavy paper. Do I want it? Nope, I don't want a whole background like that. I'll do a half a background like that. Do I want to put it in the middle of this page? That, maybe I do, maybe I do. Could be, perchance. I don't like the edge of pages in my journals. It makes me have to um, think about what's happening. There we go. Oh, that'll fit in there, perfect. And if you um, don't make gajillions of things like I do, I would keep all these and put them around edges. I just, that's not what I like to do. But it could be a way to extend. I get messages from gals all the time. And I know that some of you are on a budget, which is why I always try to make you freebies. So then you can, if you wanted to, you could go to the library I'm just pushing too hard. Just the glue isn't down to the to the nozzle, and so I'm pushing too hard, and it's sucking itself in. And I'm gonna need a fair amount of glue for this one because this is heavy rice paper. These tissue papers, you don't need that much glue to stick them down because they're not hard to stick down. But rice paper is heavier. So there's a background paper. All right, and now I would like to move some of this around this other page, but I don't want it to be like two pieces. So I'm going to kind of cut this 
on an angle and do it uh, that way. But I do think I want some purple background. Here's some purple. Okay. Do I want all purple background? I do not. I very rarely will want all purple background. So let's do three pieces over here. Maybe two. Because we got these other ones. Kind of do a color block. Yep like that and then I could do that piece I don't like the straight line I just don't like oh and then I probably will use this little piece this time today I don't like how this bottom kicks out okay here we go could you oh where's my thing somebody sent me a thing oh where's the thing I have glue holder that sits up me me where up oh, there it is this is what this glue holder is made for yay us because no matter how much you want to you cannot shake down glue into <laughs> okay there we go we'll put that up there Oh, I kind of dig that. And then we're going to do, can we extend this framey thing? We can extend that framey thing. Oh my goodness. How exciting is that? Just going to stick that down there. Like thus. That's going on there. And then... I kind of like the purple better than the than the rice paper. I don't dislike it, but it's not my favorite. So I'm gonna put this in the back. So the brush isn't making it stick any better. I am just using it to um, to not have glue all over my hands. In case you were wondering what's up with the brush thing, it isn't making it stick any better. It's just keeping, I'm starting to feel a little freaky with all my glue. Now, I wouldn't line this up like there because then that would be weird. I want it overlapping. Let's use our dink glue thing. And if you've never used matte medium, either matte medium, matte medium from the art store or matte medium uh, from, use your words, Mod Podge, matte medium, as the name implies, if you have something shiny that you want to make matte, make not shiny, you can use matte medium and it will dull it. If you have something dull that you would like to shine up a bit, you can use gloss medium. And it, well, you could use a million things. I love shiny things. But you could use uh, gloss medium to make it glossy. And if you use the brush like this, you're going to um, get more fuller coverage than you can with all the little fingery things. Okay, so thus far we have this one. Let's make sure our pages aren't sticking together. This one and this one, I will go make all my pages and I will come back and show them all to you later. So let's go through the pages I got done. Here's one. I think you've probably just seen that one. It's been a minute for me. Here's the red page, a black page, purple and teal. I think we did this one together. Teal and kind of a taupe? No, magenta. So I never, like, I would never put this up here and make a big frame. That would feel weird to me. 
Oh, orange. We're going to come back to orange. I'm putting a pin in it. Purple. Beautiful. Oh, this is fun. This, this is fun and better than the other one was. So I used the matte mod or matte tint to do this one and I must still let it dry enough because wait till you see another matte tint I did this I love I feel like this is really a cool um, start of a background this is the matte tint that had issues so it pulled itself up when I pulled up the page but I'm here to tell you I will probably wind up loving this one I'm not mad about all right this one purple this one has a ton of texture paste like creepy heavy duty texture paste on it this is why my journals get so chubby look at all the colors on this one i love this one i think that might be the last one okay so where did we put our pin there it is okay so on this one i want to show you how I'm going to finish this background so you can see what a finished background looks like when you've done this. So let me get some oranges. And what's the other color? Like a green? Twisted Citron I'm gonna use. Ooh, that one isn't open. Bink -a -bink -a -bink. And Mood Lawn, because there's kind of, you know, two different layers of green in here. And then carved pumpkin. Oops, not open. And well, that's kind of a pink one. Let's go with this one. That is more of a crackling campfire and carved pumpkin. So this is distress paint that you can use with water. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get two paint brushes. So one for my orange and one for my green. The reason being is if you don't want to make mud, orange is red and yellow so as long as you only have red and yellow as your base colors of your primary colors you can't make mud so we could use yellow we could use red we could use like a pink we could use any of those colors and you'll never make mud but if i was to use green and orange because green is blue and yellow we would then have all three color of the primary colors and it'll make mud. And I don't wanna make mud. I wanna keep it nice and bright and light. Shake your paints. So I'm gonna start off with some water because you can use water with distressed paints and it doesn't lose its um, color value. And I'm just gonna put in a tiny bit of a different color just to sort of, and I don't want lines anywhere, right? I want it all to be kind of fun and going into things and just be not a stark line. Okay, so let's do this. I wanna pull I want to get this mostly around. In some places it'll paint really well because it has a little bit of that collage glue on underneath it, which will have sealed the paper. So I'm just going around here, getting this. Got a little bit of color, maybe we'll do this. Just go over that because that edge. And then we're going to pull this in so it's not so monocolor, but I don't want to mix it all in. Maybe do a little over here since I got lots. And a little over here. Oh, let's take some of this up over here and the reason for this is twofold <laughs> my first fold is yes i want to get color on the whole page except for i have like holes in the things and also if i have that much paint on this page 
it is going to take forever to dry, and I don't want to have to wait forever for my pink to dry. There we go. That's cute. I like how that looks. Let's kind of smoosh this in a little bit so there's not such a, a line there. Okay, excellent. And now we're going to dry this for a second. And you can dry Tim Holtz paint. I know this because Tim Holtz always dries Tim Holtz paint. And mostly, I don't care if it gets dry in the middle. I want it to be at least a little bit set on the edge because now we're going to go around the edge with some water. And I like this carved pumpkin the best, but uh, I feel like this is more that color. So we're going to go and put some of this around. I don't need a ton because it's a very small amount of um, area. I am almost at the end. Don't worry, I have another jar. Jar? Jar is not the right word. Tube? Bottle? Bottle. All right, I'm going to have to replace this. Let's turn it upside down for a little bit, so just so we can see. And then we can wet our paintbrush. And we're going to start kind of going up here. And you could make this more of a straight line. This is a border, right? So I don't care if this has a little bit of straightness. And over here, I'm just filling in this weird area where it doesn't go to the edge. So I do want to go all the way out. We got mix of colors. So now we're going to have, it doesn't matter with this because our, um, our orange isn't very bright to begin with. But if you were to have a really bright, like if you were to have that, all that carved pumpkin and you were to get a little bit of green in it, it won't be as bright as it was before, which is fine. I don't know if you can see that. Let me move that up a little bit for you down here. And then let's just fill in this area. And I tend to like kind of a light interior and a darker exterior, but you get to pick. And since I have a ton of paint on this brush, do I have any other orange pages? Ooh, this one. This one's a hot mess. So I'm going to come over here. Put that on there. We're going to go pick up some more of our paint, right? Because we've got a ton of paint. And do like a bit of paint on each side. I'm sure I have some more random orange wet paint. Not a bunch, right? And then we have kind of a little of a side to side frame that maybe we could do something with later. Let's not stick that together. We'll dry this. And if you see this page and you're freaking out thinking you would never want a page like this in your journal that has problems with it, Gosh darn it. I hope that doesn't stick. It shouldn't stick together. Um, that's awesome. So two things you could do. You could tear out the whole, especially at this point in your journal, you're not throwing away anything important. You could tear out the whole signature, right? Go back here to this. So this is this, this, this. Nope. This is a signature. So you could tear out those pages, the pages around the signature, and just not have it, like, banish it. Be gone with you. Um, and then use these pages for something else, which would be fine. Or 
a, a, an easier way to do it actually is to um if you wanted to get rid of it just we have paint we have superpowers people because we have paint so i love how this looks and i'm going to um either before or after this there will be a video about inches i'll give you a sneak peek these are inches and that some lady asked me if i would make one inch and two inch little printables and i said yes and i feel like this page and all the weirdness is crying out for like little inches around the edges so i will be doing a video where i go around and i make inchy borders so hopefully that helps tara jacobson artsy fartsy life